we're going to call on um, Mr. Fran Francesco Rutelli, who's with us. Uh, he is, uh, many of you know him, uh, Francesco Rutelli, the former Deputy Prime Minister of Italy, uh, former Mayor of Rome, and he's um, also Chairman of the Priota, uh, Priorita Cultural Association. Uh, he's going to talk a little about uh, dialogue among uh, cultures and the preservation of cultural heritage versus fundamentalism. Is, uh, can, Mr. Francesco. Thank you very much. I thank you all. Um, I would like to raise a single specific issue uh, strictly related to the today's debate, uh, even if absolutely ill-considered in the current public debate. Uh, firstly, I would like to raise uh, your opinions and maybe your support on a project we are uh, managing, we're about to launch in Italy. We are building a small sect and a military unit, and uh, we would like to uh, focus on some specific issues uh, related to the after the counter reformation process in Italy by destroying, shelling some iconic masterpieces uh, created before the counter-reformation era in Italy. We would like to start by destroying some part of the Uffizi galleries. And if we are lucky, maybe if you are able to raise your support, our ideal goal would be to uh, uh, go straight on the Sistine Chapel, because Sistine Chapel uh, still maintains some, uh, before the counter-reformation process, tracks. Uh, what, what I see, maybe, is that the, the audience uh, doesn't agree. <laughs> uh, what I see is that maybe you don't support our purposes, so maybe I, I should I should find find out an, an, another another uh, support area. Another project, maybe. No, the project remains the, ma the same, but if you don't agree, we, we should we should find out some other supporters. Uh, why why did I start with that? Because uh, I consider that in the international opinion, what is happening in the so-called uh, Islamic State in the Daesh is absolutely under-evaluated. I think that the destruction of Mosul, Nineveh, uh, Malula, Malula is the very place where uh, still people uh, speak Aramaic language, the language of Christ. What's happening in an area today big as uh, Hungary, controlled by these uh, various uh, terror organization is uh, completely uh, against our uh, convictions as men of liberty and as men and women uh, who consider uh, culture and the preservation of cultural heritage at the foundation of our civilization. My personal opinion is that uh, at this, uh, the very moment where the mo European moder modern culture starts and the Enlightenment, when uh, Antoine Chrysostom Quatremer de Cancy directed, uh, um, wrote his letters, letters to Miranda, 17 1996, directed at avoiding deportation of masterpieces from Rome and Italy 
for the collections of the Louvre. He wrote, the harm which would be caused to arts and sciences by the removal of art from Italy uh, would harm uh, the civilization improvement of instruments of happiness and pleasure, the advancement and progress of education and reason, and therefore the improvement of the human species. We learned about uh, what we called in the 90s and the, the, the first decade of, the, of this millennium, what we call responsibility to protect. Uh, we heard about uh, uh, the need of uh, defending uh, the humankind from crimes against humankind, even if they're not in our country. So even if my purpose to destroy the Sistine Chapel for religious purposes, contemporary purposes, fails, uh, maybe somebody in, uh, in this audience would think that uh, a, a direct action, if somebody in my country would do that, uh, maybe would need a military action to protect what is a universal value, an universal heritage, a universal and not only an Italian or a Syrian or Iraqi cultural heritage. Of course, we know that uh, all this is part of what is called the management of savagery. In a, in a book, uh, in a text that is an iconic text for uh, Islamism, by Abu Bakr Nashi, uh, it is defined like uh, the, the, the goals of the today's so-called uh, caliphate are violence, crudeness, terrorism, deterrence, and massacring. But it is also, of course, an extraordinarily efficient propaganda I quote uh, Mrs. Stern and Mr. Berger, who uh, just wrote a book, The State of Terror, at the Brookings, a Harvard and Brookings institution. This propaganda is addressed towards, mainly towards, angry, maladjusted young men attracted to a total war against unbelief. But it is also sophisticated. Uh, when you look at the videos portraying the destruction in uh, Mosul Museum, for instance, it is Hollywood-style films. It is a very sophisticated propaganda. And uh, also a recent uh, document uh, explained to us that uh, today the Islamic State manages uh, nearly 50,000 Twitter accounts in order to raise this sort of uh, uh, gathering of followers, but also direct followers, not only followers online. Followers ready to leave, ready to fight, ready to reach the uh, fighting areas. So, if, according to my opinion, the real start of modern culture is in understanding the fact that cultural heritage is for everybody and belongs to everybody, not only to the country states, and that there is a universal responsibility to protect it. And uh, generally speaking, the UNESCO uh, goals were related to that, or should have been related to that, meaning that uh, you, you, you have an international forces, an international agreements, international, an international law starting from uh, Den Haag Convention in 54, that was created after the destruction of uh, 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 Giotto Frescos, or Monte Cassino Abbey, or Dresden, or Nazi, 
uh, looting during the Second World War. Then everybody in the world, 190 nations decided that culture should have been protected as a universal goal and not only in national boundaries. Not only used for military purposes, it's forbidden in principle, not only uh, avoiding uh, saccaging, uh, avoiding uh, what is illegal trafficking, you know, of course, that today it's about the second or third source of self-financing in the uh, so-called caliphate area through giving local uh, gangs or local uh, groups the possibility to exploit, to ravage, and then send on the black market what is uh, possible to, to bring away while destroying what is impossible to, to, be, to be brought away. You have seen the big statues destroyed in the Mosul Museum. At the same time, you have seen that uh, uh, lorries were bringing away thousands of small masterpieces in order to send them on the black, international black market. Uh, but of course now it is also an ideological issue, a political issue, uh, because it is like uh, my joke uh, about that created so much uh, uncertainty in the, in the, in the uh, I apologize, in the, in this whole, uh, it, because the, the, the goal is going back to the 8th century, to a sort of purity, to a sort of uh, um, a world immediately, immediately following the prophet and his companions start. That is happening. That, is, that should not be possible according to our culture, according to the uh, Muslim culture, according to a universal culture. What, uh, um, as, as an Italian, I would like to stress uh, is that uh, maybe anybody should know better, myself first, uh, the extraordinary uh, beauty of, uh, and pluralism uh, of Muslim culture in centuries. Uh, in Sicily, we had a two centuries domination by uh, a caliphate, and it was a quite, uh, quite peaceful uh, and uh, a balanced historical, histori historical moment. Yes, it's what different from Al El Andalus, but it was very, very interesting. It's very far away, not studied enough, of course, because then we won the Crusades, mm -hmm. and so it was over. But uh, uh, going there to the roots of this pluralistic uh, experience is very interesting today, because it shows that uh, on, on around uh, 1,200 years ago, there was a high quality civilization in science, agriculture, culture, uh, fine arts. So I think that uh, what we should do, that's my opinion, uh, uh, as a man of the West, deeply rooted in Europe and in the West, is that we should try to uh, explain and try to support uh, a correct showing of these beautiful pluralistic cultures while fighting and really fighting the uh, Islamist threat, Islamist uh, reality, also because we are uh, acknowledged that the Islamic State is here to stay, is not here to live uh, in a while. So it's a huge issue for future generation, for all of us. I can't ask you and I can't ask myself what uh, uh, an outstanding personality 
from your country, Sir Harold Nicholson, a member of the War Cabinet of Churchill, wrote during the Second World War. He, he, he said, I should assuredly be prepared to be shot against a wall if I were certain that by such a sacrifice I could preserve the Giotto frescoes. Nor should I hesitate for an instant were such a decision ever open to me to save St. Mark's, even if I were aware that by so doing I should bring death to my sons. I don't think that anybody should be asked to show such a brave attitude, even if we know that many people died in Syria and Iraq preserving their heritage, putting their defense on the internet, and be, being decapitated for that. It happened to, to people in, uh, in many parts uh, of, of Syria and, and Iraq. So my, uh, I, I will end my uh, thought by giving to uh, Ribal uh, a small, uh, small uh, essay I wrote for a, for a, for a book uh, about to be published. On the, on, the, on the issue of uh, uh, return of iconoclasm, barbarian ideology, and destruction by ISIS as a challenge for modern culture, not only for Islam. And my conclusion is that uh, if we are not preparing a, um, a military unit uh, to destroy, it, uh, to destroy uh, Italian heritage, we are trying to uh, build uh, an important association uh, through also the, the support of the Italian government in order to restore, in cooperation with uh, countries of the Mediterranean areas, uh, archaeological sites, monuments, religious sites of different religions who were damaged in the recent conflicts. I think that uh, such a purpose, and I, on, on this I really would like to, to have opinions and maybe support, uh, this uh, goal could be very interesting because what we need, of course, is not a, a clash of, supposed clash of civilization or a real clash uh, between uh, uh, civilization if we talk about the West and Islam, we, we have to fight uh, uh, criminals, we have to fight uh, terrorism, and we have to explain to our people in the West how rich and how responsible could be a cooperation between our cultures. Thank you very much. <laughs>